Welcome to another tip from the cube. When you bring a drawing in to 2020 visual impression, you may notice that a work surface is too low. Or you may look at a chair and think, hmm, if only I could rotate it to a different angle. In the 2021 version of 2020 Office, we introduced a new feature allowing you to move furniture in 2020 visual impression. In this video, I'm going to show you how this feature will help you save time when creating presentations or during project revisions. In this drawing, I have two scenes, a lounge area and a work area. First, I will visualize this lounge area. In this scene, I have this small seating area and I want to rotate these chairs and place them at an angle around this table. I toggle on furniture movement, which automatically toggles on collision detection. The reason collision detection is important is that I do not want to accidentally move furniture outside of the room boundary. Then I select the item I want to move and drag and drop the item into place. To rotate furniture, I click on these arrows and hold down the left mouse button. Then, moving the mouse, I can rotate the item. To further show how the furniture looks in this space, I will also move these cylinders and tables. Visual Impression recognizes which items belong on the floor, and I will not be able to move these items up or down. So I'm just going to create smaller seating areas throughout this room. These sliding door cabinets can be placed at different heights, so I can move them higher or lower. I select the item and click and hold with the left mouse button on this up-down arrow and slide the item up or down. For this demo, I will just move one cabinet up. I want to apply these movements to my drawing so that the next time I launch Visual Impression, I won't have to move these items again. When I select Apply, there is a message that appears stating that the furniture movements I've made in Visual Impression will also be applied to my source document. In this case, it is my drawing. Back in my drawing, I can see that the furniture has been moved. Notice that these chairs are now placed on an angle. To preserve these changes in my drawing, I must save the drawing. I'm going to visualize a different scene from my drawing. This time I'm going to visualize this work area. To save time, instead of drawing each workstation individually, I created a standard. I will demonstrate how furniture movement works with standards. With furniture movement turned off, I select which item within the standard I want to specify. When I toggle furniture movement on, I select the entire standard and move or rotate it within the room. Panel configurations behave the same way. However, if you have panel configs and you decide to move them in visual impression, please note that hardware items such as connectors will not move. I'm not sure that I want to save these furniture movements, so I will select Save Copy. When I save copy, I create a visual worksheet that will reflect the updated furniture layout and my original drawing remains intact. When I close Visual Impression, I get another message. From here, I can discard these changes because I do not want to apply these changes to my drawing and I already created a visual worksheet that reflects the changes I have already made. Previously, you could apply finishes from Visual Impression by using Update Against Visual Worksheet. 
Now you can also update furniture movements. If at any time the customer decides they prefer the new furniture layout, simply open the drawing and select Update against Visual Worksheet. Then locate the worksheet file and check the box to update VI furniture movement data. As you can see, all these workstations are now facing right instead of left. Some important reminders. Use furniture movement to make slight adjustments to your project. Use your drawing tool for space planning. Access collision detection by pressing the up arrow above the furniture movement button. Toggle furniture movement on to move standards and panel configurations as a single item. Toggle furniture movement off to apply finishes to individual items within a standard or panel configuration. Connectors and other items do not move with panel configurations in 2020 visual impression. Store furniture movements in your drawing by selecting Apply or Update against Visual Worksheet. Save furniture movements for later use by selecting Save a Copy to create a separate visual worksheet. Associated worksheets are not affected by furniture movement. The workflow remains the same. And that's how you move furniture in 2020 visual impression.